All right, guys, so what we have here is uh, Anthony, the owner of Engage um, Auto Group over on YouTube channel. You could go check him out. He posts his pretty cool videos and reviews. But right here we have his Mark 7 um, GTI. Um, this car is um, pretty much fully built by me. You know, everything down from the suspension. It got wrapped over here at ACI Wraps. Um, it's a like a violet purple. Um, this car has suspension, brakes, wheels. Um, it pretty much has everything on it. it has an IS-38 on it. Um, right, he's getting ready to go down to Wookiees in the Woods. And this is his first time there this year. The car has 75,000 miles on it. So we're deciding before we go down, we're gonna go ahead and replace the old injectors with new injectors because we're in there for a carbon clean. Now, a lot of people want to know, should we, should you do this? Well, let me tell you something. I've seen injectors fail at 65,000 miles. And from FCP Euro, you could get some Bosch injectors for just under 400 bucks. And what would you want to do? Would you want to run lean, have an injector blow out on your 14 hour drive to Wookiees in the woods and maybe lose a motor? Um, no. So we're going to get rid of the old injectors. I'm going to get them flow tested and post the results actually show you guys if 70,000 miles on the stock DI injectors if they were bad or going bad if they were leaking down or whatever we have the new injectors going in and then right here we have Riley doing a carbon clean and what Anthony told me was he keeps such good care of his car he's not gonna have any carbon on his valve well guys look at this okay it's not too bad but see those chunks right there he still has carbon on his valves at 70,000 miles. So we're gonna go ahead and clean that out for him. Um, I just upgraded from my uh, old carbon clean machine to the shop over here at ACI. I got this new carbon clean machine. Um, it works just as well as the old one, but this one sucks and blows a little bit uh, harder. That's what she said, right? Ha. So we're gonna go ahead and do the carbon clean on this. We're gonna replace the injectors and I'll let you know uh, how it works out for him. So Riley cleaned cylinder one, two, and number four. Cylinder three, as you can tell, show him Riley, the valves are open. So he can't blast a whole bunch of walnuts into Anthony's cylinder three, uh, you know, the piston wall. So what we're gonna do is a little trick that you guys can use here at home. So I don't know why his secondary air pump filter is down here, but I'll fix that for him. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook up a little alligator clip to the starter. And then we're gonna go like this, okay? And then Riley's gonna tell me when cylinder three is closed. Ready? Mm-hmm. There. Is it closed? Yes. What about now? What about now? What about now? What about now? Anyways, that's how I do it, guys. It's a little trick for you. Um, just remember, because I've done this in the past, when you're done doing that, plug the starter back in so when you go in the car and try to start it, it actually starts. I've done that, and I lost my freaking mind. My freaking mind, Riley! Okay, so. Yep, so now that he's doing that, cylinder three could be clean now. This car is going to be all buttoned up. Here's the boss right here. There he is. We also took out Brett's favorite, guys. Hey, Brett. Huh. What are these? Tell the YouTube channel. Those are the Forbidden Ravioli. 